Hey everyone, it's James Lambert, the motivational coach and speaker. I went from knockouts to knowledge and from headlocks to hugs. I still embrace people, just now in a different way. In this video, I wanted to share a beautiful piece from Paolo Coelho's amazing book, Manual of the Warrior of Light. Well, well worth picking up. Outstanding, outstanding author. And I love this book in particular because it's helped, if you like, it's helped my, certainly with my thoughts in the transition from being a physical warrior to a, a spiritual one, if you like. Certainly one from being more focused on the physical art of movement and both are important but going within and doing the if you like the more philosophical and the more at times grounded so it's taking the all the excellent attributes of a real warrior, a warrior those physical attributes but putting them into a practical prag pragmatic work or use in society helping others practically allow me to share this with you so, the warrior of light studies the two columns on either side of the door he is trying to open. One is called fear and the other is called desire. The warrior looks at the column of fear and on it is written, You are entering a dangerous, unfamiliar world where everything you have learned up until now will prove useless. The warrior looks at the column of desire and on it is written You are about to leave a familiar world wherein are stored all the things that you ever wanted and for which you struggled long and hard. The warrior smiles because nothing frightens him and nothing holds him. With the confidence of one who knows what he wants, he opens the door. And I love that, the way that you can consider both sides, fear and desire. And when neither of them hold you, you're truly free. And so, of course, you can go about, I believe it hastens the quickening towards your goal, or your heart's desire, precisely because, firstly, you're not bound by fear. Most of what stops people is fear, fear of what others think, fear of what their parents may say what others, you know, what their culture demands of them, what people of a certain faith will think of them, all of this, judgments of other, fear, fear stops, my goodness, the greatest amount. And then interestingly, this is something that it took me a while to get my head round because I've read it elsewhere. I think it was attributed to Marianne Williamson, but also they say that our greatest fear is not you know, how bad we are, but of how great we are. We're almost frightened of, we are frightened of our brilliance, but it comes under desire because you see what we desire, you've worked so long and hard for all your dreams that you can stop there when you get them, not knowing or understanding that there's more to come. And I think that happens to a lot of people. They think, well, I've wanted that car or that job or that title, and they stop there. And what was only meant to be a resting place becomes the end a literal full stop on their life and i think that's quite sad for a moment i know my goodness it's happened to many people in jobs what was just supposed to be a temporary job they end up giving their entire life to it and that's dangerous when you have got more in you and you always have it doesn't matter how much you give i found this you know keeping fit and that you know you, you do a hundred push-ups you say ah oh, that's it done. can you do one more my goodness you always find if you're particularly if your life depended on it can you do another one yes yeah or at least a partial rep but you understand what i'm saying you can always give a little bit more a li little bit more in your relationships and looking after yourself looking after others going about attaining your goals so i hope you enjoyed that you know, very good book manual of the warrior of light by paolo coelho the author most famously of the alchemist so as always you are unstoppable and i believe in you